This is LCA's 5023 Cedar Avenue. This is the third floor rear bedroom. Nice north facing bay window for artists or just people who like ambient light. No shafts of sunshine in the morning. Two closets. Whole house is under a little bit of work that should be completed by the time anybody's moving in. For example, this one needs paint. This is the third floor middle rear. West facing window. This is the third floor bathroom. Got a cute old skirt on the vanity. Third floor middle front. West facing window. Working on some electric here to get it up to far. Hallway closet. Pretty good size. I didn't realize how big that was. It's all in light. If you move in, you should make that a CFL. Compact fluorescent, so there's no chance of igniting linens on the top shelf. Third floor front. South facing window. It's going to get a lot of sunlight in the morning. Some people like that. I do. The closet. There is an attic with, uh, it's probably about five foot high, maybe four and a half feet. You can crouch around and move stuff around. It's good storage, but a bit of a backbreaker if you have to move a lot in and out of there. Uh, this is second floor front, huge beautiful room with parlor doors, these old Victorians had second floor parlors, I think this would be one of those. Fireplaces are not working as far as we know, uh, there is a working light in here somewhere but it's behind the door. Anyway, huge room, not necessarily a bedroom. Second floor bathroom, west facing window. GFCI receptacle. Second floor middle. This would be the fourth bedroom, not including the parlor. West facing bay windows. Second floor hallway closet. Not as big as the third, but decent size. Back stair to the kitchen. Second floor rear. Also pretty good size. This would be the fifth bedroom, not including the parlor. North facing bay windows. That's a door that connects to the middle room. Double closet, decent size. I guess it's a common closet with two doors. Real good size. And down the back stairs to the kitchen. Kitchen's gonna get uh, at least a new refrigerator. Probably also a new range. Some new electrical. And uh, I'm sure some LCA folks would be able to consult on some counter space here. Or probably put something in the budget for IKEA countertop. Existing range probably to be replaced. Refrigerator, I guess, goes here will be new. Uh, some electric work to do on this. Maybe more than electric. That's the first floor rear kitchen. There's a mudroom. 
That's not a laundry sink. Uh, drain is too small, but I guess it's a mudroom sink. This is a powder room that we may choose not to put the money into right now to fix a small leak. So that may not be usable right away. This is the dining room, or whatever you want to use it for. Uh, first floor middle rear. This is the uh, entry hall area, closet here. This is the first floor front. Originally this was an opening to the front hallway and I think it should return to that because there's light from a west window southwest window in the hallway that would come into the living room if you open that up. There is a light switch here. Cute hearth there. Again, no fireplaces are working as far as we know. All new windows throughout the house, so Decent energy efficiency compared to similar houses in the neighborhood and most of the other LCA houses. Uh, front entrance. Front porch. Good size. Hang out all summer. Enjoy yourself. Got tree shade. Side yard. Bay window on the dining room. So out from the mud room, you look out on Good size yard, it needs some work, but it's a good size yard. Looks like about 30 feet to the back fence and 30 feet across. Come join the LCA if you're not too dizzy.